Okay, to start um, the digital signature process to, um, to create one, select the tools on the right hand side and then under sign and certify you should see more sign and certify. Select that and open up security settings. If you have a digital signature already, you'll see it here. Uh, make sure digital IDs is selected to see this. And to add a new ID, you'll click add. If you are transferring over a previous digital signature, um, you'll select this option, and you'll select next, select next and uh, you'll browse for that digital signature. I believe it's a PFX file. But if you're going to create a new one, you'll want to select the bottom button, hit next. The new PKCS number 12 digital ID file is a secure password protected digital um, ID, and you are able to transfer this over to a different machine. Um, or a newer version of Acrobat if you decide to upgrade later. The Windows Certificate option um, is not password protected. Um, it is non-transferable as well. It's locked to this machine in this version. So um, I would not select this if you plan on getting, a, you know, upgrading later. So we'll select new PKCS. Hit next. Fill out your name. Uh, I keep everything here the same, and once you're done, you'll select Next. Um, this is the file path that will tell you where it is saving your digital signature file. If you are going to be transferring, um, you may want to take a look at this to see where you can grab your old uh, digital signature to transfer over. Uh, it will tell you how strong your password is below. Uh, I do recommend uppers, lowers, and numbers to um, get a secure encryption on your signature. Once you're done and they match up, hit finish, and you will see your digital signature right there. Be able to export the file by hitting export and save it to a file or um, email it to someone if um, your email is set up uh, as default, it, it should open right up and place the file right in. So if you type in there, the email address, hit email, should open up, you should be ready to go.